Hey, what's going on? My name's Gabriel Lamer with FCC, and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with spicy wings and an even hotter climate. Joining me today is William H. For Hello there. He's a pro fracking executive. Now, wh why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Well, fracking, formerly known as hydraulic fracturing, is the process of injecting water into the ground to get natural gas out of it. And this is what warms a good majority of the United States homes. All right, so our first hot sauce is from Lucky Dog Black Label. Mm, tastes very good. See, the nice thing about this one is it has a nice balance of a little bit of kick, but a lot of flavor. Mm. Already yeah. feeling it? A little bit. Just okay. A little bit. Okay. So, we're talking about fracking, and specifically my company, correct? That is correct. So, could you tell me about some of the chemicals that you use? I've heard that there's acids and breakers and defomers, all sorts of different chemicals used in the process. There is, but I need to preface this first. Our process is extremely clean. Um, if nothing goes wrong, nothing will go wrong, if that makes sense. Same thing as atomic power. Well, uh, uh, what about leaks or spills? Are you not worried about contaminants ending up in the groundwater? We are always worried about it. All right now, moving on to our next hot sauce, it's Da Bomb, Beyond Insanity. We're really kicking it up a notch here at 135,000 Scoville. All right, let's try it out then. Here we go. Going all in on this one. Mm -hmm. I just swallowed it. <laughs> that was a mistake. Ah, yeah. You gotta savor the flavor. <coughs> yep, drink some water. Ah, that made it we worse. We can get you some milk if you need it. <coughs> there you go, there you go. Alright, so our next question concerns this uh, uh, form of fossil fuel versus others. How does hydraulic fracturing compare to other forms of the fossil fuels? According to Matthew Schleisinger, the actual process of fracking itself is not necessarily harmful if it is carefully insulated and regulated following well-studied procedures to establish best practices, meaning nothing could go wrong if this process is done correctly. And is your process done correctly? Technically, that is not my problem. My problem is worrying about the American homes and how we can warm them. Well, that may be not a concern for you, but according to Teach the Earth, each well had product produces millions of gallons of toxic fluid containing not only added chemicals, but other naturally occurring radioactive material, liquid hydrocarbons, brine water, and heavy metals. What steps are taken to ensure that there's no problems like this? Well, I didn't know about the toxic waste, but technically that is not my problem. <clears throat> Moving on to our last hot sauce, appropriate called The Last Dab Apollo. It's clocking in at a whopping 2 million SHUs. Now, I'm not going to make you do it, however, it is tradition on the last one to just add a little bit of a dab extra. Okay. Okay. My tears are burning my face. Can I call there you Gabe? There we go. Can I call you Gabe from here on out? Is that okay? Well, I mean, I wouldn't call us friends, but uh, <laughs> well, let's see how you fare after this last one. Okay. <sighs> Ting, I guess. Dink it and sink it. See, what I like about this one is that the, and once you get past the spice, there's actually a lot of sweetness there. I'm going to be honest, Gabe. I can't feel my mouth. Real no. tears are hurting my face. No. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not surprised, as uh, you seem to have a lack of feeling from this interview so far. My soul is fake. Well then, with the economic <coughs> and environmental concerns and public outcry uh, reaching new heights, what do you think the future of fracking is? Future of fracking is obviously building more. Uh, we need to go more and more into providing more energy as our population grows in the United States. You're, so you're saying that we shouldn't diversify our portfolio into other opportunities? Eventually, yes. But at the moment, we're not allowed to do that. Then what kind of timeline are you looking at? Oh, like I said, 30 years. 
30 years, like the quote I said, in 30 years we should have enough money to invest into proper renewable resources. But for the time being, fracking's the way to go. Well, I guess we'll leave that up to the, the scientists to figure out, but that's all the time that we have today, folks. Thank you for joining us. This has been Hot Ones. I'm your host, Gabriel Lamer, uh, and we can thank our guest here, William A. How do you feel? Thank you for having me on. Oh, like I said, I can't feel my mouth. My tears are dry. <laughs> all right, then. Have a good ones, and stay spicy, folks. <laughs>